This one's been a long time coming. We are finally going to look at how to set up triple screens in a set of Corsair. Most importantly, before a set of Corsair Evo comes out and makes this whole simulator completely redundant. Maybe. We're going to look at how to set this thing up with NVIDIA and also without NVIDIA surround. We'll look at how to calculate the perfect FOV, how to tweak all those in-game simulator settings to get it looking as realistic as possible, and some other bits and bobs along the way. This is what you came here for. Let's get into it. First things first, download the content manager. The first thing you want to do if you are brand new to a set of Corsa is download something called Content Manager. As described here, this is a custom launcher and content management app for Assetto Corsa, which revolutionizes the interface, allows you to launch races really, really easily, tweak the in-game settings, and it's also got an excellent triple screen interface. At a later date, when you're a bit more confident, you can also mess around with things like mods, and it's really, really a lot of fun. Once you're here, I'll leave a link to this in the description below. You want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll be met by two options. You can either download the light version or you can download the full version. Click here to download the full version. And once this page is opened, you can basically download it for as little as two United States dollars. This goes direct to the developers. I'm not affiliated. I have had a lot of use out of Content Manager. I recommend it. I think it's a tremendous bit of kit, particularly if, you, particularly if you love sim racing. And all you do is you input your details, your email address, and then you'll be emailed a link to download. And then you'll also be um, given a key to unlock the full version of Content Manager. Once that's all sorted, you'll be ready to move on. Let's get in to the next section. Setting up NVIDIA Surround. A set of Corsa is fantastic because it gives you the option to set up your triple screens with either native support, that's in the game handles the rendering itself, or spanning your screens with NVIDIA Surround or something similar like AMD Infinity. This first is going to look at NVIDIA Surround, but if you want to look at native support, that comes up a little bit later in the video. First, you are going to want to go to the Start menu and open up NVIDIA Control Panel. Here, you are going to want to click on Configure Surround, select Span Displays with Surround, and then hit Configure. This will open the setup surround window and at this point you must note the order of your screens. Here they are displayed in large white numbers, working from left to right they are numbered 2, 3 and 1. Now click enable surround. The screens will go black while this enables. At this point drag the monitors in the display window into the correct order you noted before, 2, 3 and 1. Now click apply to order the screens correctly. Now we need to correct the alignment for the bezels, and this is done with these two figures. This is done visually from where you will sit, so increase the numbers until it looks correct. For me, this number sits at 44. Once this is set, click Apply again. The screen will once again go black as this sets. Now go to the Resolution menu and select Bezel Corrected Resolution. Make a note of this now. Once selected, click Apply again, and then Surround with Bezel Correct Resolution will be enabled. Calculating the correct field of view, FOV. To calculate this, we are going to need some help from a free online tool available at this address. I will put the link in the description below. Once opened, you will be presented with this window. Here, you can adjust your parameters to obtain your desired field of view. For me, I wanted to make sure that all of my peripheral vision was covered, so I aimed for 180 degrees. Firstly, make sure your screen size is set to 16.9, and then input your screen size, minus 32 inches. Select triple screens from the drop-down menu. You will then need to input your bezel thickness. I'll show you how to measure this later in the video. You can then play around with your distance from the screen, and see the required monitor angle to achieve your desired FOV. In my case, I felt that a 60 degree angle would work well with my room and a distance of 62 centimeters away from the monitor felt comfortable. But you can play around with these figures as you desire, but once selected, you must stick to them. To better understand this, let's look at this on a diagram. To achieve a 180 degree field of vision, my eye line needs to be in line with the most proximal edge of the monitor, the circle here illustrating my head. My screen size is 32 inches, adjust this for your own size. The distance from screen is the distance from my eyes to the panel monitor. To achieve my required field of vision, I need to be 62 centimeters away, give or take. And finally, I must make sure that my triple screen angle is set to 60 degrees. This angle will differ for yourself depending on what you got in the tool. 
Here the angle is taken from a line drawn from the back of the middle monitor to the angle formed by the back of the left and right monitor. Here this is written in pink. To measure this practically you will need a digital angle measure or in this case a set square that has an angle measurer on it. Make sure this is lined up with the middle of the monitor when viewed from the top as illustrated here. Repeat this for the left and right monitor and be as accurate as possible. How to measure your monitors. Measuring up is relatively easy and we need to take two further measurements. Firstly, we need to measure the monitor's total width. Finally, you want to measure your bezel's width. This is the distance from the outermost portion of the monitor to the start of the image on your monitor. Here, mine measured 0.7 centimeters. How to set up a set of Corsa triple screens using NVIDIA Surround. Once you first open Content Manager, you'll be met by this screen. Now, it's not completely intuitive and it does take a little bit of practice and can be a bit unwieldy, but I'm here to guide you through it. To set up triple screens, we'll deal with NVIDIA Surround first. It's really easy, you just go to Settings at the top here, tucked away at the top right, click it, and you'll be met with this screen. Make sure that Video is selected on the left-hand side, and there's just a couple of things to tweak here because the majority of the FOV calculation is carried out in-game. You wanna make sure that Rendering Mode is set to triple screen. For me personally, I like to run my games in windowed, so I like to make sure that full screen is ticked off. And then you wanna make sure that your resolution is set to your bezel corrected resolution. Again, if you click it, you'll have lots of different options, so make sure you've got the right one and also the, cor the correct refresh rate. And then once that's done, you're good to go. To set up your triple monitors with Nvidia Surround, you need to head to Erase and initiate the triple setup window. Now this is focused on the center screen. Let's move over to the right hand screen. We are now looking at the right hand most screen and if you take your cursor and bring it all the way to the right hand side, it will reveal a menu. Um, it's, this isn't the most intuitive, so I got pretty lost the first time I did this. If you go to the top, you'll see a, an option called All Apps. Click it and then you want to scroll through here until you find the option called Triple Screen. Now there is lots of stuff to get lost in here and it's very easy to miss it. Simply click that and that will open up an option on your center window. Once you've clicked that, you'll be met by this window on the center window, and this really does appeal to my surgical heart because it gives a lovely schematic as to what you are doing when you're altering things. Now, we've already measured things up, so you need to make sure that things are set correctly. Now, this is the angle between central and lateral displays, and you'll notice we've set this to 60 degrees. This is the distance between your central display and you. Now, we measured this at 62 centimeters, which is 620 millimeters. These are all in millimeters. The width of each screen, so we measured ours at 721 millimeters. And the margin of each bezel we've set to zero because we've already bezel corrected it in NVIDIA Surround. And that is it. How to set up a set of Corsa triple screens without NVIDIA Surround. To set this up without using NVIDIA Surround, there are a couple of extra steps, so pay close attention. Once you boot up Content Manager, you'll be met by this screen. Again, head to Settings at the top right. You'll be met by this screen. You want to make sure that Video is selected on the left-hand side. And from here, you want to make sure that Rendering Mode is set to Triple. Personal preference, I like to run this windowed, so I like to make sure that Full Screen is unticked. Now here, you want to make sure that your resolution is set to Custom, because you're going to need to input this. You then take the total pixel width of your monitor, which in my case is 2560, and I multiply it by three because I'm running triple screens, and this brings me to 7680. You then want to input your pixels vertical height, which is 1440, and then the appropriate refresh rate for your monitor. Once that's done, that's all you need to do, and the rest is done in game. Once you've launched the game, you're gonna be able to change your triple screen settings. Here we're looking at the center monitor and we want to move over to the right-hand monitor. From here, if you take your cursor, drag it to the right-hand side, you'll open up the menu and you want to click on all apps, head to AC apps, scroll down and click triple screens. This will open up the triple screen menu on the center monitor. Now this is gonna look familiar if you've looked at the other section on how to set this up with NVIDIA Surround, but the crucial bit here is to make sure that you input the correction for your bezel's width because this hasn't been corrected because we're doing this natively. Again, make sure that the screen angle is set to 60 degrees. We calculated ourselves at 620 millimeters away from the screen and our width of the screen a millimeter is 721. And that is it. How to adjust the cockpit camera, otherwise known as optimizing the seat position. 
Another thing we need to do to get things looking absolutely perfect is to adjust the in-game cockpit camera. Now this does not adjust the FOV, it adjusts your position in space as if you were adjusting the seat in a real car. Now to do this we need to head to the right hand screen again and then what we need to do is bring up that list of apps, select all apps and then cycle down in AC apps to something called onboard settings. Now what that'll do, we'll head back to the center screen now, is bring up your onboard settings. Now ignore the global settings because as you can see if we click here, these are locked. I'm clicking it and it doesn't make any adjustments to the FOV because these are changed within the triple screen setup menu, they're overridden. What this does allow us to do is adjust our seat position up, down, left and right and also forward, back and also our pitch up and our pitch down. Now what I like to do is I look at my steering wheel and where I believe that would sit in reality when I was sat in a car for real and just basically get the best kind of view I can within the reams of what it allows me to do here and I think I've got things sitting pretty nicely. How to remove the steering wheel for ultimate immersion. One more thing we need to do to improve immersion is remove the steering wheel and the driver's arms because for me I don't like seeing a duplication within the cockpit. Again, from the main menu here in Content Manager, we want to head to Settings up here at the top right. And then from the left menu, we want to click View and UI, User Interface. Now, this is tucked away on the right-hand side here. And you'll see under Views, there are options to Hide Driver Arms, Hide Steering Wheel. You want to make sure those are both clicked. It's a personal preference for me, but I think this just makes things look a whole lot better. So, if you've managed to follow all of that absolutely correctly, you should now have gone from this to this. Welcome to Assetto Corsa Triple Screen Nirvana. I hope you guys have a wonderful time with it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you want me to cover anything else in the comments below. And if you found this useful, please consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting that like button. As always, take it easy guys. Enjoy your sim racing. Look after yourselves. Bye for now.